whatever the fluctuations are there, uh, they are further, you know, regulated or you can say it is converted into pure DC. Okay, and then given to the load, the load can be charging of your cell phone or your TV set or whatever electronics you are running. So that is the load here. So now this step by step, this rectifier, right? So that let us see. So let's say that you want, uh, uh, right, from 120, what we need is 15 volt, right? So you have to down convert that and then do the processing, for example. Uh, here, what we will see is, uh, this is a full wave release rectifier, which is using a transformer. All of you have studied in the first year, the transformer here, and you can step up or step down to the required voltage, the power you need, right? And this is with a center tape, as you can see. And this two diode does the job of rectification. That is this negative uh, waveform, right? That is also inverted. And the output is all positive side of the waveform, zero to positive voltage. And this is the center tape here. And what it does is that if this is your sine wave that is positive, negative, right? This will be positive, negative, right? And then this dot, they are same polarity and positive, negative. So during positive negative cycle, the voltage developed here is of this polarity, which will forward bias this diode. And remember when we are talking of high voltage, right? See, whatever the voltages are, the drop across diode, this you should be very much clear in your mind that this drop, this curve is always the same. Okay, this curve will not change the drop across the diode. So it is conducting for, uh, let's say this diode, it is silicon and if it is conducting at 0.7 volt, it will conduct at 0.7 volt every time, whatever circuit you put in. If it is germanium and if it is conducting at 0.4 volt, then it will conduct at 4 volt. This is 0.71, it is conducting properly, then it will conduct so whatever the, the voltage drop, when it is conducting, it will appear, okay, and it will conduct. So this, this curve will remain same and the drop across this two terminal I'm talking of, okay, when it is conducting is around 0.7 volt and that is never going to change. This nature, as we say now that once nature will remain till death, so this, unless and until it is not destroyed, this is the nature of the diode. And the, the voltage across this terminal and this terminal, if you measure when it is conducting, is always for that diode, whatever in the data sheet, 0 0.71, 0 0.7, whatever it is conducting. So uh, here when the voltages are high, it is already conducting. This is the drop across the diode, I said. And for positive, negative, right? So this guy will be conducting. This is not conducting. Conducting means that it is short, this part, okay? And it has a voltage drop of 0.7 volt, let's say, right? So if it is, if here it is, let's say, 50 volt, then after this, 49.3 uh, uh, voltage will appear here. So whatever. So that's what. So just, uh, so these are high voltages. That's, and then when it is conducting the direction, this arrow is the direction of the current. Okay. So the current will flow this way and it will pass through this R. And the output is across this two terminal. Okay. So now when it is conducting, only uh, voltage will be only developed when the current is flowing through R. And the current will only flow through R for positive half cycle of when D1 is conducting for the positive half. Okay. So, but uh, if it, the voltage is less than, so let's say your this is your input voltage. This is your, right? So let's say this is the negative. This is your input, this, this one. Okay. So this. So this is your input voltage. One cycle and so on. Right then, after it has reached 0.7 volt, the diode will start conducting. Right, so after it has reached 0.7 volt, it will start. The current will start flowing. Okay, so 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 now this is your input voltage, and this is the voltage across. This is V0. So this line, the dark line, is your V0. Okay, so then if the current is flowing, right. And uh, your drop across the diode, your, so for maximum voltage, 
right uh, your maximum this output voltage will be just by difference of the diode drop vd when it is conducting so this is this difference is vd okay and uh, yeah so this is your maximum vs this is your v0 and that difference maximum and for negative half when it is minus and plus this is minus plus this is minus plus and this is conducting and the direction of the current is this so the current is going to flow this way okay so even if it is a negative half cycle the current will always flow from this point to this point it will always flow in this direction okay and that's why you get every when it is a negative cycle also you get a positive half for the negative cycle you get is a positive half because the current is flowing from this direction to this direction and this is your output voltage and this is the the voltage input output versus time and this is your input voltage versus output voltage and your input is following output after 0.7 volt okay so up to 0.7 volt whatever your this input you are changing this vs your output is still going to be 0 volt okay because there is no current flowing it is uh, uh, this is not conducting uh, it is not reverse bias it is not conducting for 0 to 0.7 volt and that's why i is 0 and the voltage developed here is 0 so v out will be zero for up to 0.7 volt and once it has crossed 0.7 volt this will start conducting and uh, the, the voltage that is developed here right so almost this point and this point are same just the drop here you consider and that's your your output will follow your input but always less than 0.7 it will remain that difference Okay, so that is about that. And this is another version of the same circuit. Are you understanding now? Otherwise, interrupt me in between. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So this is the same version of this circuit, but the difference is that here there are two diodes. Here there are four diodes. Here there is a center tip. Here there is no center tip. So what is the advantage? So advantage comes with this advantage. Now listen, this is a transformer with a center tape. Now this center tape, it... It is more expensive compared to two, two more additional diode that is here. Okay. So this is more expensive, the center tape, compared to the cost of this two diode. So this is cheaper. Okay. Again, this needs space. It occupies huge, it, the volume is more. And you know, diode, they are little devices like a resistor, right? Little diodes. You have seen that. If you have not made it to the lab now, so we will show you that. So that I, you have never seen all this component. Have you seen resistor diode? You have never yes, made it right to the institute? Not in the institute, ma'am. No. Not in the institute, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. You are from day one at home only? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, no problem. So this time we will, uh, tomorrow we will show you the lab and the components. So they are little in few mm, okay? Uh, so uh, three, four, five mm uh, size devices they are. And uh, you make circuits and we will show you from, uh, I mean, make sure that you understand and through video you'll be seeing. So, and then, uh, so space, cost, okay. Uh, so, and then the weight and also space, it will need more. It, this will be more heavy because of the center tape. And uh, then, uh, so this is, uh, this can be, you can have this in a little area compared to this and it is cheaper. But the drawback is that now see this, there is no center tape, as you can see. So plus minus will appear plus minus here. And when it is forward, by this is plus, you can see that as I had said the trick, this is minus sign, this is plus sign. Okay, this is same for all the diode. This minus, this is, what is this? This triangle is which? Anode or cathode? And anode. this line is what? Line is anode or cathode? See, minus is cathode. See, I said the trick. This is this is like a minus sign, so this is the negative terminal. Okay. It is the negative terminal, or this is the trick to remember. And this is uh, if this is negative, the other is positive. So this is positive. 
and positive is A, anode. Okay, A and then C for cathode. The positive is A, then uh, negative is cathode, as you can understand. And now if this is plus, uh, it, uh, so forward bias, if you think of, then if when this is plus, this is what plus, and th this is already minus, and this is plus. So this guy will be forward biased. Okay, and then it is connected this way, this way, and this way. So this two will be forward biased uh, because this is negative and this is negative. This is plus here. So this and this will be forward biased and the direction of the current will be the current will flow from here. This is already reverse biased when this is positive half. Okay, so this is already reverse biased and it will get a path from here and then this is conducting. So this is the whole path. Okay, when it is forward biased and when it is reverse biased then this is the direction of the current so this 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 right and here when it is uh, negative negative half then this is the direction of the current uh, right so this is the direction of the current it will flow from where here here and here and then like this way okay so this is the direction. Yeah, the other two are reverse biased. But as you can see, for every positive or negative half, there are two voltage drops. So before it was just 0.7 volt, here it is 1.4 volt. So this difference is 2 VD because this is appearing, this difference is appearing where we are taking your output across this R and whatever is conducting, right? So if this is conducting, the current is in this R, it is flowing this direction. And if these two diodes are, the current is flowing in this direction only. So it is a direction of the current in both positive and negative half, the direction of the flow of the current through this load R, that is your V0, it is always this way, okay? So you are during negative cycle also, the direction of the current with the voltage output you are taking is of that uh, positive here, it is negative. This is, uh, I mean, this is ground and this is this terminal. So the direction of the current is same or for positive and negative half and that's why you get positive voltage. But the drop now is that this difference is 2 VD. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, okay. Can you explain how 2 VD? Okay. Okay. See, uh, just simple. So if I have, if I'm considering ideal diode model, okay, a video diode. You can have three diode, I can make three diode also. Okay, and I'm giving some input voltage here and I'm taking output here. Okay, output across here, input I'm giving here. Okay, so it, let's say my input is five volt. 5 volt, okay, I'm taking, if it is just one down, forget these two are not there, then what will be my output if I see the other side, if it is 0.7 drop then, 4. for 3. positive half, if it is 0.7 drop, what will be my output for just one diode? 4.3. 4.3, now think there are two diode then. Then again 0.7 drop. The same thing now dear. So, ma'am, uh, in which terminal we are taking output? See, your loop is this way. You see, you know K C uh, K V L, right? Kirchhoff's voltage law. Yes. So, your loop is this way. This is making your loop. This is making your whole loop. So, this voltage plus this voltage plus this voltage plus this voltage is zero. Okay. Uh, so now you do. What is this? Right? Uh, Ma'am, I am asking in which between which two terminals we are taking output means that DC time. This, this. Let's say you have a resistor here. Yeah, resistor set. Hmm. See, there is one diode, let's say. Then a resistor. Okay, and then another diode. Yes. And think that you are taking output here. 
આપે એક લુક બન્યું ને અહિયાં એક વી અહિયાં વોલ્ટેજ છે તો ધીસ ઇઝ વન લુક ના યસ યસ યુ આર ટેકિંગ હિયર બટ આ તો ગણા છે ને હમ સો ધીસ વોલ્ટેજ અક્રોસ ધીસ ઇફ યુ આર ટેકિંગ વોટ એવર થર્ડ હોય તો થર્ડ ડ્રોપ પણ ગણા છે ઓકે ઓકે મેમ આઈ ગોટ ઇટ થેન્ક યુ સો ધ વોલ્ટેજ હિયર ઇટ ઇઝ ધીસ વોલ્ટેજ માઇનસ ધીસ માઇનસ ધીસ આ જે ત્રીજું હોય તો એનું માઇનસ એ ઓલ્ડ માઇનસ એમ you can keep this r here also if you keep here also same current will flow hmm ah, see this voltage drop is always 0.7 ah uh, yeah 0.7 it's thase when it is conducting as i said you know this the nature will not change ah to amaj rese conduct thai ke enu when it is conducting it will not be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 volt હંડ્રેડ વોલ્ટ થઈ જાય તો વેન ઇટ ઇઝ કન્ડક્ટિંગ ધ વોલ્ટેજ ડ્રોપ એક્રોસ ધ ડાયોડ એક્રોસ ટુ ટર્મિનલ ડાયોડ ઇઝ પોઈન્ટ સેવન ઓનલી આ દસ વોલ્ટ થશે ને આ પોઈન્ટ સેવન હોય આ પોઈન્ટ સેવન હોય તો ઇટ ઇઝ ટેન માઇનસ વન પોઈન્ટ ફોર હિયર ઇફ ધીસ ઇઝ ફાઇવ દેન ફાઇવ હિયર વિલ બી એક્રોસ આર વિલ બી ફાઇવ માઇનસ વન પોઈન્ટ ફોર ખ્યાલ આવ્યો ધીસ વિલ રિમેન સેમ ઓનલી દેટ યુર શુડ કીપ ઇટ વેરી ફોર્મ ઇન યોર માઇન્ડ નાવ now this stage here filtering so what we use here to filter capacitor okay so here as you can see this is a simple circuit when it is so you have a positive half and a negative half okay so if you see where uh, this is for so whenever you have a diode and you have a sine wave always sine wave means it can be uh, i mean an ac signal which can be a triangular or a rectangular or a sine wave you always divide that wave into two half positive and negative and whatever the number of diodes are you start giving that way you quantify your voltages i will tell you when how and what when we do this type of examples you quantify ke bhai okay maru koi na aap you hoy input and how vi aap you hoy to you say okay let's say it is 0 to 10 volt okay it is sign minus 10 to plus 10 and then you think and you do because in exam this right thinking is very critical so uh, so here you divide into positive and negative half so for positive half okay this is conducting this is conducting for positive half for negative half it is not conducting so let's say now we you start with a positive half and let's say that you you are starting from zero and your voltage is increasing so this guy is conducting okay so you can take as an ideal diode if it is 0.7 volt it is conducting from 0.7 volt okay so once it is conducting it is going to go and charge this capacitor remember right now in this diagram what is shown is your output across the capacitor okay and uh, then we will see across the r what does it mean what is the difference okay so right now it is the capacitor only think this as an independent circuit and we are doing is a filtering how what do you mean by filtering right so after this you will have something like this kind of waveform so these are ripples okay we say so it is fluctuating a bit from the maximum so uh, so this is going to charge and now so let's say this is maximum is 5 volt and this guy is conducting up to that and it will charge and this will be eventually it will reach let's say 5 volt let us take it as an ideal diode so now this has charged to 5 volt and then it is decreasing so from so from 5 it is 4.9 and then it is becoming to zero so let's say 4. so this is 5 okay and now this is uh, 4.9 so from here only this will be reverse bias right because this positive terminal is now less than do you understand are five tell you ideal diode she are you getting me so this is 5 volt maximum this will charge to 5 volt or no capacitor yes ma'am yes sir ah. yes ma'am so this will the once it is charged uh, once it is charged to 5 volt and this is changing so after 5 this will come to 4.8 4. and then 3 2 1 0 so let's say it is 4.8 or 4.5 4.8 let us take or 4.9 
So then this is 5 volt, negative terminal is 5 volt, positive terminal is 4.9, 4.8. So this diode is going to be what? Reverse biased. So from this, after this peak, this diode will be reverse biased. So reverse biased means it is conducting or not conducting? Not conducting. Not conducting. So no current is flowing and this where the, this is charged and it will remain, this whatever it is charged, maximum it will remain. Okay, it will remain charged because it is not getting any path to discharge. This is your output. If you measure, right, then it will remain 5 volt because there is no path for it to discharge. And a discharge forward then a path to do it. Okay, yeah, let's say if there, is a, if there is no resistor right now, but if there is a resistor, what do you mean by a resistor? I'll explain you shortly. So then it will get a path to discharge if there is a resistor there. Okay, any component of that any other conducting component, okay? But it is not there, so it will remain. And then, then by the time uh, it will remain 5 volt, by the time it is again, uh, it has reached the peak and it will continue to be 5 volt. But in practical thing, uh, see, now you are getting this DC, a DC thing, pure DC, okay? But this has to be given to some circuit now. If I'm if I my phone is let's say five volt, I have to give to charge it. I charge karwa five volt DC api, right? So there is a load. The phone is your load. If you are giving an input to your PC, PC is your load. Now that load will have some input impedance. Okay, ema RC badu aave. So so now if there is a load which is represented by let's say just R, or you can have a C also in parallel or here. So R and C, but to keep the case simple, this DC is given to some circuit, some load. For example, your phone, your TV, your laptop, right? So that is represented by R. So now what will happen? So now this is a practical case. Okay, that this is your load. So our DC Banyu, you know now, this was your DC. But that DC is given to the load. And when it is given to the load, then what happens? So I am adding that load here. It looks some Yes, ma'am. Yes. So now it is like you know a new member is coming and will change the way things are working. So new Bahu is coming and things change in the home. It is something like that. But you cannot stop this because this is the, for this circuit only we have created DC. Okay. So now this is here. Now what happened? You have understood up to here. So I will start from here and uh, I'll explain you the whole thing. Be attentive. So this thing you had understood that your capacitor, uh, let's say at this point, your capacitor had charged, right? Like here. Okay, take this. Okay. And then this went into, because this was charged maximum, this went into reverse bias from this point, right? I pointed out reverse bias. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, so from here, the diode has reverse bias. Okay, so now what has happened? This capacitor is no more charging because it is charging. And then it is getting a way through this R to discharge. Now, this is providing a path to discharge. And now it, this was reverse bias. This, this was like cut. It was cut from here and the only resultant circuit is this. And this which was charged fully will ch start to discharge from here. Okay. So now by the time this is following this waveform for which this diode is reverse biased, this guy will start to discharge. So it is discharging. So let's say it was 5 volt and it has discharged to 4.5 volt. Okay. By the time that this has reached 5 volt. So let's say this is 0 to 5 volt and this has discharged to, so now it has discharged slowly, slowly. And now the voltage remaining is 4.5. So now let's say this is 4.5. So jab here, now when this has reached 4.5 and then immediately 4.6, 4.7, this diode will be forward biased or no? Because now this point is, this is 4.5 at some point here, let's say, and now this has reached 4.6. So if it is an ideal diode, it will start conducting, right? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, and it will charge this capacitor fully again. 
Okay. So here, this is the point that your diode will start conducting from here. For all from here to here, it was, sorry, let me use another color. So from here to here, your diode was off. Okay, but at this point now it has started conducting and it will only conduct for this time from here to here. And again, it will get into reverse biased. So is as you can see your diode, so if you take this is repetitive, right? So in, uh, in one or two cycles, this will charge fully. So when it is charged fully and then discharging, we are taking the cycles. And if you see it, the diode is conducting for this fraction of time only. But this time only, this is repetitive. So this time only. So this between T1 and T2, that is delta T, the diode is conducting. And this is the diode current. See, it is conducting for this much time. And this shows, ID is the diode current that it is conducting. The diode is conducting for this much time only. And now, very important is that you should know that this is the time period of your wave, right? So, so from here to here is the T, capital T one sine wave, pura circle, right? So 360, so this is time T, okay? So what we will want is that we want pure DC, pure straight line. That is only possible if this RC is very, very greater than T. So provided this RC is very, very greater than T, otherwise this will discharge fully. This, this, this is like then it is like following your output will be following your input. This output will be following the input. Okay. So instead of that, so you want is a straight line. So this discharging should be very slow, meaning that this RC should be very, very, this time constant should be very, very greater than around 10 times. At least greater than then you will get almost DC, but with a ripple. So 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 now, so now you understood this much. Okay. So this is this dark line is your output. So this dark line is your output, this output that is appearing here. So, so this 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 dark line is your output V0. And your output is your I0 or IL, and this IL is output shown here. Okay. So that IL is following V0. So I, L, and V0 are of the same nature, but this is current. I is the current. So this is your I, L, which is following your V0. And your diode is only on for a fraction of a time, and this is very important. Your CR, your RC should be very, very greater than the time period of the sine wave. This is the peak voltage. And what you get is this output, which is not a pure DC, but with ripple that's what you get here. And we want to remove that. And we know the remedy, it is the Zener diode that you can use, okay, to remove that. And uh, so, yeah, so this was for half wave, right? And uh, so this is a half wave rectifier. If you make a full wave, then uh, for the negative half also, you will have a positive cycle and you will get like this, with this ripple. Okay, so this is your ripple this much from this minimum to this maximum, this is your ripple voltage. And this uh, dark line is your V0. This is for full wave, as you can understand. Okay, and then we use Zener diode to get pure DC. And we will see that also, but you have understood Zener and now you know. And I will peep in into that also. So let me show you this first. So here, if I am talking off, then this way I'll give you as a homework that this I'll come later on. Let me take this first, okay? Then uh, you will understand this better. So are you okay with this? What is, what is this straight line? But this is not a practical circuit. There has to be a load and that R. And if R is there, it will start to discharge also. And we have to still remove. So there is a pending step that is uh, the, it will pass through the voltage regulator that is Zener. And then that this pure line will go to this. So now uh, let us understand mm -hmm. this uh, uh, circuits uh, to understand these applications better. 
okay so this is known as clipping action where you know to protect your circuit from overshoot or something we will clip because if the overshoot if you are you if your circuit even if your circuit let's say this circuit that you this rectifier or from this point uh, uh, if this because of the fluctuation here in the ac mains okay if you are dropping down this to let's say from 120 volt you are dropping down to let's say for example 5050 volt all of this component they are designed if you give very high if you give 100 voltage to your component it will break down right it's like a bomb explosion everything will be you know blown off so like that way so even if because of a fluctuation if for some reason uh, it goes high then these all things will be blown up we don't want to do that you want to protect it right so for that also there is a circuit that is known as clipping circuit that if it goes below some voltage it will cut it off okay and the other uh, thing this clipping circuit uh, uh, clipping action uh, that is one thing to protect your circuit. The other is to generate the waveform of the required shape. Okay. So for some applications, you may need the rectangular wave when you are doing your simulation. Also, you can select and give a rectangular wave, a sine wave, a triangular wave. So how do you get those shapes? Okay. So that is also through there is a circuit there, right, to which you are giving an input and generating these shapes. There is nothing that um, there is not a reservoir from where you will have a sine wave or that also has to be generated using some circuit. So this kind of clipping circuits can uh, generate, uh, uh, if this is sine wave, it will give you something like rectangular wave. Okay, you can shape it and that's what. So one is for protection, one is to generate the wave from a particular uh, size of waveforms, okay, shape of waveform. So, uh, for example, now let us try to understand this circuit. And uh, I'm starting from a very simple one. And in the exam, what you will be asked is some RLC, and uh, you will be asked to give the output voltage or the voltage across the diode or like that way. So one is time with respect to voltage. Your voltage here will be input and output both with respect to time t. And other thing that you may be asked is to pull out the transfer curve where this is the input voltage. Okay, you are wearing the input voltage and then this is the output voltage. Okay, so this line is the output voltage. So that is the transfer curve. So for t versus v, you will be asked or V0, or v, v in versus V out, okay? So you will be shown where is V in, where is V out, and you have to plot it. So this is the transfer curve, and it can go in any direction. So these are the two things that either of things you will be asked, and you have to understand. This is R here. This is the diode, and it is connected this way. And let us start with the ideal diode first. And I am calling voluntarily. Whosoever will reply will leave the ID in the chat box. As said, you will be rewarded if you answer. So like, explain me this circuit, how it will work. You can unmute your mic and start to speak. This is R. This is your input voltage. And this is your output. Everything is shown. You have to explain me. That if this is the input, how and why do you get this output? In a positive cycle, it will be reverse bias. So upper upper cycles will be cancelled. Okay. See, reverse bias, uh, you are right. So this is uh, positive. This is negative. Okay. And uh, when you are talking of this cycle, let us do step by step. You take the positive half. So this is positive and this is negative, right? So this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, this is negative. So it is forward bias or reverse bias, first of all? Forward bias, connective. Forward, forward. forward bias. Ah, it is forward biased. Now, forward bias means what? Diode is conducting or not conducting? Ideal conducting. diode. Conducting. conducting. No. Ideal diode, okay. So conducting means this is short. 
ઝીરો વોલ્ટે કન્ડક્ટ થઈ ગયું બરાબર એટલે શોર્ટ થઈ ગયું ઉટપુટ now negative half to negative ma a negative thase a positive thase and what is this the diode is open circuit non conductor flowing or not flowing current current flow no flow the last no segment flow. nothing and man one open means this segment is like not there a cut at so current will flow from here to the current flow here to the r there is no pass so it will not flow see this ha i have koi path nahi the current is not flowing because this is not connected this is open so no current is flowing through r so if you write a k v l write all the voltage that is here this is zero drop i is zero so v is equal to i r so i is zero v is zero so whatever the voltage is here will appear here or no લોજિકલ વે ઓફ થિંકિંગ સિમિલરલી હિયર દેટ ઇફ યુ ચેન્જ દિસ દિસ ઇઝ માઇનસ દિસ ઇઝ પ્લસ and it is only conducting when this is minus and this is plus so that is this part agreed or no yes ma'am so it is conducting it is conducting means for the negative half this will be conducting means this is potential is what zero so zero thai negative half ma and positive half it is open a plus hoy a minus hoy it is open all the voltage will appear here so this positive half it will follow this output clear jaldi ha ke na ho yes ma'am very good yes so now okay good so now this was ideal diode but in this whole universe nothing is ideal okay and you can say everything is ideal also and nothing is ideal so it depends on the definition but practically if you say this is ideal right uh, then practical things are there and practically is what 0.7 drop when it is conducting so now you have to think if this is the circuit okay so let us uh, one minute okay so let me take this only okay with 0.7 drop uh, this i come later on let us take this with 0.7 drop you understand me ideal or not now let us take 0.7 drop so this is what positive this is negative let's say i am talking of positive half mm -hmm. and then this is negative i am talking of this half cycle okay you take uh, uh, the one when it is conducting let's say okay not conducting with okay so when it is conducting you take so it is conducting for this polarity now a a polarity am ho it, it will conduct for positiveness positive half yes this polarity is correct right now to make it conduct this has to be plus minus na plus plus why minus minus it is forward biased so for positive half it will be forward biased but now it is not it is not reverse bias but it is not conducting for 0 to 0.7 volt hai ki nahi yes ma'am a zero volt se uh, let's say this is 2 volt 2 volt okay let us give some voltage if it is not given to you a 2 volt se to up to 0.7 volt it is not conducting na yes ma'am yes ma'am so now so now when it is conducting you divide the voltage that if it is uh, 0.7 drop then you make you make 
a milestone that you do from zero to 0.7 and then 0.7 to two volt. Okay. So for zero to 0.7, this is not conducting. It is not reverse biased, but it is not conducting. So if from here, if this is not conducting, okay, that means that no current is flowing for zero to 0.7 volt. Reverse bias, yes, 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 ma'am. Ah, reverse bias, and it is not conducting. So not conducting means this is like not there. Zero, zero to point seven no suit are you? It is following your your output is following your input for zero to point seven. If I am drawing you my input this way, I am superimpose karuchu and I am showing you with the green line my output. Then my output for zero to point seven it will follow the input or no? No. Conduct nothing. See, forget other voltage. Zero to point seven. So point one, point two, point three, point one. Has it to suit us? Conduct can't say any current. It will still be zero out output. I need. That's what I'm explaining you. Be patient. You answer my question step by step. No, no, ma'am. No, no. Point one conduct can't say any current. Non conduct. No, not not conduct. Point seven. It will not conduct. You can think. Hello, 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 hello. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Ha. Up to point seven, it is not conducting, na? Yes, ma'am. Point from point seven, it will start conducting. So let's say point six nine, it is not conducting. Up to. And somebody is just doing. So this is. Uh, so you think this is open? Now open it. So the output will be what? It will follow the input. Yeah, point one as the point one house. Yeah, point two as the point two house. Yeah, point three as the point three house. Is that correct or no? Yes. Yes, ma'am. It is correct. Yeah. So my. Uh, so this green line. Okay. That is my whole input. I am showing the range. So, so my output will follow my input up to point six nine. Have a point seven. Have you? So point seven and then point eight, then one volt, two volt, all those voltage, and again point seven here. For all of this voltage, is this is conducting or not conducting? Conducting, 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 conducting. So when it is conducting, what will be the voltage drop? Point Across seven. Point seven is this. I said you. If a diode no voltage drop, to point seven is this. I hear the voltage voltage very high. What will in the circuit as a whole? If you are thinking, what will change? See, diode is fixed. You know, nature fixed. See, it will not change irrespective of the voltage here. The voltage drop, even if it is hundred volt, the drop will be what still point seven volt only when it is conducting. I know nature said conducting point seven. Even if it is hundred volt here, what will change is this I depending on this is fixed. This is let's say 100 volt. Then this is 100 minus 0.7 divided by R is your current flowing. If this is 10 volt, then 10 minus 0.7 divided by R is the current flowing. Okay, but that's what. So here, uh, so this is 0.7 volt. So so from 0.7, if you start to one volt, two volt, and again you come back, it is what 0.7 volt. Can I go? And then again same thing. And then this way. Okay, it will follow the input up to 0.69 and then 0.7, it is all zero. At a 0.7, not zero, 0.7. For two volt also, it is, if it is one volt here also, it is conducting the voltage drop is 0.7. If it is two volt also, it is conducting the voltage drop is a uh, voltage, okay, a uh, voltage for, right? It is 0.7 only, your output. This will remain fixed now when it is conducting. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, so that's why this is the thing. And here, when I'm talking of this one, then here it will be, it will follow for a, a zero up to 0.7 volt, then straight line, and then like this way, right? Yeah. And then when you have this both placed, then you get this waveform. So intersection of both of them. So when you have this kind of thing and it is a, not an ideal diode, you 0.7 drop, then you what you will do, you will take the positive half. So positive half is plus, minus, and this is plus, this is minus, this is minus, this is plus. So when it is positive half, this will be forward bias, and this is already open. And positive half. And then for the positive half also, it is not conducting up to 0.69. If it is conducting at 0.7, up to 0.69, it is not conducting, right? So it will follow, your output will follow your input, and then you will have this straight line and like this way. For the negative half, similarly, this is like not there, open, and you concentrate on this only, right? And then you have like this with the waveform. So this is for voltage drop of 0.7 volt, okay? And if it is an ideal diode, you will have a straight line. Straight line at zero volt, right, ma'am? Pardon? The ad when uh, both the red diodes are ideal diodes, uh, the output will be zero volt, right? Correct, correct. Okay. When it is ideal, let's say it is zero volt. Why? Because this is positive, this is negative, this is negative, this is positive for the positive half when it is plus and when it is minus here. Right, like a plus ten, a minus ten. So what will be? So this is open. So this is not there at all. Correct? You agree? Uh, yes, ma'am. And for the positive half, this will be forward bias. Let's say this is D one. So D one will be forward bias for the positive half. And the voltage drop in ideal is zero. Uh, yes. So it is yes. forward bias. Voltage drop is zero for the whole half circle. Right. And what you have is, you, this is changing from here to here, but this voltage and this voltage are same. So difference is zero. That's why you get zero for the positive half. When you're taking a voltage, it is the difference between the two. In uh, ideal diode, uh, the difference is zero. When it is conducting. Yes, so zero volt, it is conducting. Difference of anode and cathode is zero, so your output is zero. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Now we'll a little bit modify. So with that understanding, we'll go ahead and a little bit modify. And in this case, we are adding. Now see, uh, this is fixed. This is the physics and it comes with that and you get that. But in your some design requirement or circuit requirement, you need a waveform that is from minus one to plus one or minus 1.5 to plus one or plus two to minus 0.5, right? Those kind of waveforms, you need it, some, some input that you want to give. Positive can be different voltage, negative also different or same, but whatever you want, not just 0.7. I mean, it can be... To, to plus two to minus two or whatever, a rectangular, a rectangular wave or something like that, let's say. Then what you do, we will add this voltage, the supply to this diode, okay? So let's say that in this case, if you see, uh, so here is the sine wave and this one diode only, so this is positive, this is negative. And the supply is added such that this is positive and this is negative. So when you talk of the voltage drop, they add up. When this is conducting and the voltage drop, if you consider is 0.7, then uh, it will add up, right? Positive, negative, positive, negative will add up. But if this is reversed or this is reversed, either of them is reversed, then you minus, right? You know, in when you have a voltage source, that is you have positive terminal, negative terminal, and then again positive and again negative, then by superposition, you add up. And if this is 2 volt and this is 3 volt, it will be 5 volt. But if this is 2 volt and this is 3 volt, but the terminals are minus and plus here. 
and this is plus and minus, and then minus minus are here connected. Right then, it will be minus one volt result. You know that, okay? So uh, when you are considering again, as I said, let's say this is some bias voltage, and this is 0.7 drop. Then instead of just 0.7 drop, right? Uh, you will add that bias voltage also. If this is one volt, then this is 1.7. So, so this is plus, this is minus, let's say this is five volt, okay, pick to pick. And with an example, this is one volt, this is 0.7, okay, when it is conducting drop, 0.7 volt, as you know. And this is five volt. So it will be forward, you start with when it is forward, the potential of this, it is forward bias plus minus. So giving positive half only, it will be forward biased. During negative half, this is all reverse bias. So this set, when it is reverse bias, this is like not there at all. Okay, so for now positive half, it will be forward bias. So this is plus, this is minus. Mm, let me cut this. Yeah, so for the positive half, it is plus minus, okay? And uh, this is one volt here. So now this circuit will only work. This, this will be only shortened, okay, when? So now let's say you start with zero and then 0 0.1 volt. So either 0 0.1 volt here, so let's say 0 0.1 volt is here, let's say, okay? And uh, this is one volt. Right, so this positive has to be greater than this one volt, right? And then plus this bias 0.7. So if this is one volt and the drop here is this will only conduct if this is 1.8. This this if this potential is 1.8 from this volt 1.8 only, right? This will conduct. Agony. Yes. Uh, below 1.80 to 1.8, or uh, let's say, sorry, 1.7. I mean, conduct is 1.8. It will not conduct up to 1.7. So 0 to 1.7, it will not conduct. It will not conduct means no current is flowing. No current is flowing means the voltage drop across here is 0. And, and whatever the voltage is will all appear here. So your output will follow the input up to 1.7. So one point, this dark line is your output. And then when it is 1.8, this is forward bias. And the drop, 1.8, if it is 2 volt, 3 volt, this is forward bias. And the, whatever the voltage, 5 volt, 3 volt, 2 volt, the drop across the diode is 0.7 and then plus 1, this. So that is 1.7. So whatever the input you are changing, your output is still 1.7 if V bias is one volt. And then once it gets lesser, this is, once it is 1.7, then 1.6 and all negative, this is, uh, this is not conducting for this region and that's why your output is following your input. And then otherwise this is also reverse bias. So not conducting reverse bias is the same thing and your output will follow the input. And this is what you see. So this is the kind of the waveform that you will see. And similarly for this negative, right? So uh, so this is now, this is minus, this is plus, and this is my, I will teach you when the polarity is opposite also, but this is additive, okay? And the way you saw here, this will be tripped, okay? This, this will be tripped. And then when you have this back to back and they are still additive plus minus, this is plus, this is minus. Okay, so if this is four volt and this is 0.7, then it will be it will be following up to 4.7 this and then it will remain constant up to here. And once it is decreased 4.7, then it will follow this. So for all higher voltages, it will the output will remain constant to 4.7. And similarly, this will be added in the negative direction, and this is minus 6.7. So based on the same thing, okay. And if I go ahead and I show you this, 
This is now you can understand this is zener diode. The direction of the current of the zener is in this direction. Okay. And then these are back to back connected zener here. And uh, for the, this input, which is shown here in blue, this is the output. And this will be my homework to you. That so here also you will divide into positive half and negative half. And you will explain me next time, whosoever I'll write down the ID and uh, make, I mean, this Excel sheet we prepare as per your ID, okay? So uh, you will tell me and you will be rewarded for whatever answers you give, but I'm giving you this as a homework that this is V out shown here. For this kind of circuit, it does the same job. You can have two Xanas connected back to back and you will explain me next time for this sine wave input, why is this output this way? Okay. Now, who will explain me this? So here, instead of a diode, you have a five volt zener. So from the theory that you have learned, and this is V out here, you, it is shown, V in is shown, and V out is shown. So from the all these basics and whatever you've studied so far, can anyone explain me now? This is homework, but now anyone can explain me this. Or you try, because it is all try only. It's not that the answer has to be correct, of course. Uh, Ma'am. Uh, in the forward bias. Yes. Uh, yes, this one. Uh, for the positive half of the cycle, uh, up to the 5 volt, the zener diode will be reverse bias. And... Uh, very but good. after when 5 volt, it right. will break. Shanti, Shanti, you are right. So see, uh, now this is what, this is minus of this, and this is plus of this. But it will be, it works in what reverse bias region. So when will this be reverse biased? When this is plus and minus, as he said. What is your good name? Uh, yes, Mudit. Huh? Mudit. Mudit, Mudit, very nice. So Mudit is correct. Zener, see, Zener, uh, the characteristics of diode, you know. Okay. And Zener, uh, so it is, uh, this is same like the diode. Okay. So it will work in this region. And what it is meant to is as a voltage regulator. And it will work in this region. Okay. This is 5 volt, this Zener. So if this is reverse biased at 5 volt, right? It will, uh, it will conduct at 5 volt, okay? So for positive half, it will be reverse biased. And uh, and then this is your 10 volt, let's say, right? Yes, please. So now we are talking of this region and for positive half of the cycle that we are having from 0 to 10 volt and then again 0, it is going to conduct at 5 volts. At this 5 volt, it will conduct below 5 volt. You know that it, the current is in nano peak ampere and we say it is off, it is not conducting. Yes, please. So, Mohit, uh, say Agar. Uh, yes. Uh, then so, uh, for the negative side, for the other half of the so cycle. No, 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 so listen, listen. So, 0 to 5 volt first. Up to 0 to 5 okay. volt, what will happen? It is conducting or not conducting? No, non conducting. It is not conducting. Because it is uh, reverse bias and its breakdown voltage is 5 volt. So. Yes, yeah, so it is not conducting in reverse bias up to 5 volt, and that means no current is flowing. Correct and or no? Uh, uh, yes. So here, so no current is flowing here, right? And if you write down the loop equation, here is your V out. So through R, 0 to 5 volt, up to 0 to, let's say, 5 volt is here. So up to 0 to 5 volt, there is no current flowing. And your output is what? I is 0. So V is equal to I R. So, output, so up to 5 volt, your I, your V out is 0. So this is 5 volt here, right? So up to that, your output is 0. Correct or no? Yes, Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then after 5 volt, whatever, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, as we had seen in this zener here before, right? The same thing. Here. This one. Right? As we had seen there. 
whatever up to uh, so this is maximum is 10 volt right uh, this will conduct for 5 volt only so, uh, so this will be so when it is uh, so yeah yeah so this is this this drop is fixed 5 volt okay so now if this is 6 volt I have 6 volt as much as 7 8 right so 5 then 6 7 8 9 10 volt so Mohit you write down your ID okay uh, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is 5 volt. So your here, your when it is 6 volt here, it will be 1 volt. Okay. Yeah, 6 volt has the output will be 1 volt. Yeah. 7 has the as the for pick 10 volt and 5 volt, your maximum will be 5 volt. Right? So minus uh so 10 minus 5, so 5 volt here. KVL, right? So that is that. So it is following, but it is five up to five. It is zero, and after that, uh, it is following your input, but it is always five volt less because that's the drop here. Yes, and tell me, Mohit, uh, after for the negative half. Uh, Ma'am, my name is Mudit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for the negative cycle, the diode will be forward bias, so it will pass all the values of current. Very good. Right. The uh, 0.7 drop little na kariena, it will start, you know, it, uh, it is working. So, uh, uh, it is uh, the voltage drop is almost zero, you can say, because this is bigger volt. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, that is okay. So, almost that. So, right? Uh, otherwise, little bit, and then it will be to be more precise 0.45 volt. But we are just following that. So, so this is forward biased only, and your output this is short, right? And your output is same. Your output is same like your input. That's why it is following that. You write down your ID. And what is the meaning of your name? Matlab uh, yes. I knew, but I forgot. <laughs> but anyway, you don't forget analog. That is good. <laughs> okay, so I hope everybody has understood that. And then on the same line, anybody would try to would like to try this and leave the ID. See here it is minus plus and then plus and minus. So this is not additive. But let's say you consider this as an ideal diode. Ma'am, when the uh, input voltage is less than 5 volt, the 5 volt. An ideal diode, Mano. Okay, you start that yes. this is an ideal diode. And your mm -hmm. homework will be you take this as 0.7. That will be your homework, uh, right? Tell me for ideal diode. Ma'am, here in uh, forward condition, this diode will be in. Uh, one second. See, this uh, is negative and this is positive. See, when this is uh, this is reverse bias, let's say, then this whole segment is not, it is like not there, okay? Only when it is forward bias, that plus 5 volt will come into this thing. So. Ma'am, I was wondering, when it will be in forward bias, this will be uh, short-circuited, so 5 volt will be uh, when it is forward bias this is minus and this is plus okay and this is 5 volt now see anuji plus a 5 volt say and this is minus so when will this be forward biased let's say when this is less than for all the voltages which is less than 5 volt right a 5 volt chenaya Because you should be clear what is forward bias and what is reverse biased. Uh, ideal diode, sir. Here, if this 5 volt would not have been there, then when this is positive, even 0.1 volt for an ideal diode, a, a positive hoy anathi. Okay, a vadhare hoy, a plus, sir. 0.1 per vadhare hoy in case of ideal diode. If the difference is even 0.1, this is more, it will be conducting. In case of non-ideal diode, if this is 0.7 and this is point, 
this is point one and this is point eight, it will conduct. So this potential has to be more than this to conduct. Positive has to be higher. It is positive, it has to be higher. In case of ideal doubt, even if it is, here it is zero and it is 0.1 volt, it will conduct. So this, it just the difference is zero, it will start conducting, okay? But a positive plus J is five volt J. Okay, a zero nothing. Usually the connections are that way. So if it is less than five volt, it will conduct this side. If the not conduct. It will not conduct if it is 5.1. If it is 5.2, um, if it is 6, 7, 8, up to 12, it will not conduct. But if it is 5, if it is 4, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 2, it will conduct, no? So everything less than 5 volt and whole negative cycle, it will conduct. Okay, now. So above 5 volt, it will, above 5 volt, so that is, let's say 5 volt is here, and then here also. So above 5 volt, it will conduct or not conduct? Not conduct. Not conduct. Not conduct. Not conduct. Mm. Above 5 volt, it is what reverse biased, and it is not going to conduct. Not to conduct means this segment is not there, and hence this is open, and hence no current is flowing through R, remember? And there is no drop here, and when you use KVL, whatever is at your input from 5 volt to 12 volt, and again 5 volt will appear at the output. Okay, so your output is like this way. Then, so you understood. So this is, it is following. We did up to this month. It is following. Okay, at Mukari Vapne. Now, when it was less than 5 volt, this was? Forward Less than 5 volt, what was there? It was not conducting. So the output potential is? As I said, a constant. 5 volt to change. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this 5 volt will remain. for, the, And then when it is not conducting. Sorry. What was here? Less than, than 5 volt to 12 volt, it is not conducting. And I is zero, your input, your output is following the input using KVL. For less than 5 volt, it is 4.8, 4, 3, 2, 1, minus 1, it is conducting. And ideal diode set, the voltage drops to say zero say. So for all the voltage is less than five, so I but do less than five share. So it is five volt because there is a battery here. If five voltage less. So for all the voltage is less than this, it will is conducting. And uh, because it is ideal diode, the port voltage drop is zero. And that's why it is constant five volt at the output. Okay. So all this constant voltage is when the diode is conducting. And this is when it is not conducting. Nothing to be confused. It is really simple. You just understand KVL when the diode is conducting. And the conductor to hoy, when it is conducting, it is just this is this point and this point is shorted. So this point is shorted with, I mean, this point is 5 volt then. Okay, this is 0. And... Uh, this. Okay, so let me, the time is up already. So, okay, well, before we end, uh, I want to discuss that. Can I take your extra lecture today at 6 o'clock? Because I missed one lecture, no? Am I local free show? Okay, but she's saturated also. I don't mind. Ma'am, today we are having actually already one lecture is scheduled at 6 to 7. 
5 to 7 we have extra lecture okay hi about tomorrow 8:30 kal 8:30 mal ye ek kala class pe hum koi to yes tomorrow it is fine for me Yeah. Hello. Yeah, tomorrow in Any, morning. You have lecture as per your timetable. No, 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 no. Ha, ha. Today we are free. Today we are free. Today we are free after five p.m. Huh? Today we are free. Today, today, today we, we are free. free. Today we are free. No, somebody said that you have some lab. No, no, no. It, that, yes. that is that is tomorrow. That, that five to seven lab is tomorrow. Okay, okay. See, today give me one hour, and if from five o'clock, five thirty to six thirty, rakh de. Ma'am, tomorrow eight thirty would be fine. Like today, we are having lab and three lectures. So, yeah. In morning eight thirty. Tomorrow, tell me only one lecture in the morning. Ah yes, ma'am. Tomorrow, tomorrow is second morning lecture. Eight, first lecture we have me. Tomorrow morning we can have lecture. Ma'am, tomorrow morning eight thirty. Ah, uh, okay. we have tomorrow class. Tomorrow morning eight thirty. Eight thirty ko class hai. I'm in computer science, minor in computer yeah, science. No problem. So then today, if I sign up, sign up, five, six, sign up, sign up, okay. I'm. You have to listen only. But na. I think you can. Yeah, so tomorrow, twelve, twelve, twelve o'clock. So what happens? Either I'm traveling to the institute, so eight thirty I finish now, then I can go to the institute. I'll have other work now. Then I don't want to cancel. That's why I'm telling you that definitely I can. I should also be available now. That's why. Tomorrow But, well, I may be occupied, and then I have to say, oh, something. No. So. I don't know tomorrow because I, there may be some meeting and I don't want to say no. That's why. But today five thirty to six thirty any problem? Today actually we have classes from eight thirty to five, so it becomes very hectic to concentrate. Ah, definitely. Okay, okay. ठीक है तो कल बारह बजे twelve o'clock you said right? Ah uh, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes. Ah, so twelve to one we keep it. ठीक है. No problem. Twelve to one. Ha, bol bhai. Ah, uh, it was a little request about that lab book that if you can do something about the graphs and all. Maybe yes, what do you mean? Yes. I can do this. What do you mean? See how uh, the lab. You have to do it in the hardware. Okay. This lab, you have to do it in the hardware, and you have to plot the graph in the lab book. Now, what do you want me to do in this? No, it will be very difficult to make so many graphs. Because accurately. these graphs are very what accurate. What is difficult? And, uh, what is difficult for you guys? Ek x axis, x axis draw kari, y axis kari. You draw the graph, diode graph with the scale ten, twenty, thirty milli, some approximate. It is not that you have to be precise up to two, three decimal. What is tough in that? Um, this. All the circuits and graphs will all already no, we are no getting. No circuit, the circuit is there in your lab. You just draw the graph as whatever is R C. You change R, then you will get something else, right? So you can, if y axis is your current, then for some you draw ten to hundred milliamp or whatever, and then approximately you draw the graph. What is big deal in that? I can teach you tomorrow twelve o'clock. No, ma'am. But drawing to, uh, there are uh, uh, many uh, power questions. There are more than two graphs, and there are six questions. So that that so some of two graphs from whatever you are getting in LC space doesn't take more than for one graph. No, ma'am. But uh, one there are... for one graph it takes one minute. For two graph two minutes maximum. For two graph five minutes it takes. Okay, we put. Ma'am, there are two, two, or uh, minimum two graphs per question, and there are uh, six questions, so that sums up to whole lot of graphs. Yeah, so I think have... ma'am, for two graphs, if I give you more time, also five minutes. से ज़्यादा नहीं लगता है इस बाइस में करके बुक में करने का. I can show you that tomorrow. So ma'am, in the mission only the book has to be submitted. हाँ, बगैर. Only the sub in the submission only the book has to be uh, submitted. नहीं नहीं यस सो नो नो व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल टेक दिस यूजिंग फोन ना स्कैन पीडीएफ स्कैनर और व्हाटएवर एंड यू अपलोड इट इन द क्लासरूम आई विल सेंड दैट रिक्वेस्ट 
Ma'am, but we are plotting the graph uh, that the circuit in the I'll displace and we are plotting the graph there only, and then we just need to copy that graph in the notebook. So instead, we could just submit. See, whatever you are telling, do you think I have to learn this and I don't know? If I'm telling you to do this way, you do it. It is in your interest. Otherwise, you will only suffer. And I don't have to explain you the consequences of this. No, no, ma'am. We are only saying that it will be efficient. No, I mean, LT space graph will be efficient, and we just have to copy the graph in notebook. So, what that's what I'm do? telling. Whatever you are telling, do you think we don't know? I don't know. What is efficient mm -hmm. in that? It may happen that the whole class will fail one day. I don't want to do that. I in previous submissions I had up to seven eight decimal same answer. Now even if you I mean anybody can come under benefit of doubt. I don't want to do. I cannot go and see three fifty students and drawing a graph as I said for one graph takes one minute. I'll give you five minutes. Drawing a graph if you're finding challenging, I think you should practice now. Because this is the base. If you are finding drawing a graph challenging, I think you should definitely now draw only and practice it. What is big deal in that? And there is no point of argument. If you are not ready tomorrow, you may have to come to the institute also, and you will have to submit the graph book. Now, okay, you may be doing everything fine. I have to look to all three fifty students and see and make decisions. And this lab component is very important. And at the last, we will take the viva and the continuous evaluation on your lab book. Now, you will guarantee me that all three fifty are doing. You may not know name of many of your colleagues also. So, soft yeah. thing means easily copyable. First thing, and drawing graph. I know how much time it takes. and that is the practice that has to be done these days you are working from home if you are not ready to do or put little effort also and need everything just copy paste it cannot work that way if you are finding challenging to draw 2 3 minutes of graph please do it because tomorrow you may have to you know face uh, uh, more challenging things when you are working you cannot just draw back because of little things every now and then is that making sense to you and documentation is very important wherever you go ma'am can i say something ha ah, please say no problem see I... tell you i have got before answers with 6 7 same decimal a decimal 6 7 decimal digits now you tell me whom should i fail and whom should i pass it is difficult for me to decide in that case whole batch will be suffering i don't want to do that and give zero because here how will i know uh, who has copied from whom first of all mam lekin matlab matlab not mein hi to zyada copy hogi na wo ld space mein to screen se bhi pata sak pata sakte hai ki kis matlab इसने अपने खुद के स्केच रेशियो उसने परफॉर्म किया है कि एड्रेस उसने परफॉर्म किया है एक्सेस हैज नॉट डन एनीथिंग एंड हैज गॉट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम व्हाई हाउ विल यू नो दैट मैम स्क्रीनशॉट है तो फिर सबके लैपटॉप के अलग-अलग स्क्रीनशॉट होंगे है ना तो फिर दैट्स व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग दैट वो सेम आते हैं तो फिर क्या करें हम मैम तो नोटबुक में तो कॉपी ही कर लेते हैं ना डायरेक्टली नोटबुक में कॉपी करो बट इंस्टेड ऑफ टीचिंग आई हैव टू डू अदर बिजनेस हु हैज कॉपीड फ्रॉम हु राइट नो मैम वी कैन डू दैट इन लैब the ts can uh, uh, tell us the screen ha ha mm ts check karte hai matlab screen share karwa ke ke perform kare maybe somebody has copied it now you you also don't know your friend has copied from you then who who how we will know who has copied from whom तो मैम डी अगर दो तीन क्वेश्चन पूछ ले तो जो जिसने कॉपी किया है वो पकड़ा जाएगा ना उसको कुछ नहीं आएगा नहीं तो सो टी ए विल मेक श्योर एवरी नाउ एंड देन दैट यू हैव कॉपीड और नॉट सो वी आर हियर टू टीच यू एंड हैव अ पॉजिटिव एनवायरमेंट और रन बिहाइंड वेदर यू हैव कॉपीड और नॉट तो मैम कॉपी और रेशियो तो दोनों में रहेगा ही ना एसएस में वहां पे मतलब ऐसे रहेगा इफ यू आर डूइंग विद योर राइटिंग इन योर नोटबुक हाउ विल समबडी विल टेक योर नोटबुक एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग 
वो तो मैं किसी भी के नोटबुक से डायरेक्ट ग्राफ दौड़ सकते हैं ना पीडीएफ से कॉपी कर ही सकते हैं ना वो लोग ठीक है तो सेफ दैट यू डू ना व्हाइल यू आर ड्राइंग आल्सो इफ यू आर कॉपीइंग सो यू आर दैट डंप दैट यू आर कॉपी ओके आई एक्सेप्ट दैट समबडी इज दैट डंप दैट इज कॉपीइंग फ्रॉम द फ्रेंड इफ यू आर आर्ग्यूइंग सो मच इफ यू आर दैट डंप यू शुड ड्रॉ नॉट वंस ट्वाइस बिकॉज़ ड्राइंग आल्सो इज अ लर्निंग इफ यू डोंट नो बट व्हेन यू ड्रॉ यू विल लर्न ओके so this copy pasting is closing eyes and doing but if you are copying and drawing with your hand and pen you are doing some action it is a process of learning at the same time so without any further argument i am not going to answer you all these things if you and then drawing is not i am not telling you to draw the uh, map of taj mahal okay or something challenging it takes doesn't take more than 2 3 minutes if it is taking practice it and make sure you don't take more than 2 minutes to draw a graph from lt spice okay so just knowing it is this are the things that will help you to grow and if you argue tomorrow with your boss this way he will understand where are you where is you where are you standing if somebody is telling you something right we are not stupid here it is all in your interest only and tomorrow you may have to come to the institute then what fada fada ke soft copy nikaloge so some pages you will give me and some uh, full scape so how are we going to manage your things if you come down tomorrow how will you submit me um uh, ma'am sorry lekin uh, lekin agar aapko matlab copy kam karni hai to fir ek मतलब एलटी स्पेस में हम लोग टेक्स्ट में हमारा नाम लिख देंगे ना एसएस एसएस लेते समय पार्डन हां वो कमेंट ऐड कर देंगे बॉक्स में वो लेबल करते हैं नोट वैसे नेम या तो रजिस्टर का नाम ही हम हमारा लिख देंगे आर की जगह कम यू कम टू द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड यू आर डूइंग अ हार्डवेयर लैब देन यू विल स्टार्ट डूइंग नो हार्डवेयर लैब इफ यू आर कमिंग टू द इंस्टीट्यूट देन हाउ यू विल डू See, this is in hardware. You get in the oscilloscope using power sources. You will see the reading and you will plot. Then, तब तो option नहीं रहेगा ना और मैं अभी workload भी ज़्यादा मतलब सारे subject के एक-एक lab है per week and no 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 target uh, option नहीं रहेगा. How you will do if you even if you have an option? How will you do your hardware lab? How will you plot? I we even if you have an option, all options are available. Tell me the best thing. कि hardware में कर रहे हो तो I V कैसे करोगे? But ma'am, uh, college अभी चालू हो तो भी हम हम कैसे करेंगे कि अब हमारा एक भी lab offline online अब बस सभी lab हमारा online software के through हुए अब तक के. That's what I'm telling you. So tomorrow you oh. come. कल आना पड़ेगा शायद. ठीक है? That you know. It is not that you will do everything from home. You may come down. Schools have started, and it will not be a surprise if you come down. Then what? मैम ऑफलाइन में हमें फिर भी कुछ पता नहीं होगा कैसे करना है तो वो तो सब हमें आ, वैसे सॉफ्टवेयर के थ्रू ही करना पड़ेगा सो दैट इज यू आर डिसाइडिंग कैसे करना पड़ेगा यू विल हैव टू कम टू द हार्डवेयर एंड डू ये हमारा नहीं चलता है यू हैव टू कम टू द हार्डवेयर एंड डू इन द लैब सो इफ यू आर कमिंग टू द लैब हाउ विल यू डू तुम अगर लैब में आते हो तो कैसे करोगे अरे जल्दी बोलो आई हैव समथिंग एल्स टू डू नाउ If you are coming to the hardware and performing, then how will you do? Tell me fast. So where are you all? Who were you were just telling me, na something? Where are you all? Tell me. You tell me how to do best thing. I I don't want to burden myself nor you nor T S. मतलब नोटबुक में हैंड रिटर्न कैलकुलेशन तो करते हैं बट ग्राफ एल टी स्पाइस के डिटो कॉपी करके नो 
मैम तब सिर्फ जो जो कैलकुलेशन है सिर्फ वहां पे कैलकुलेशन तो हमारे पास नोटबुक में रहेगी ना पुराने लैब्स की सिर्फ ग्राफ नहीं होंगे ग्राफ नहीं होंगे तो व्हाट आई विल डू विथ योर सबमिशन विदाउट ग्राफ योर सबमिशन मींस ग्राफ फर्स्ट एंड देन विद इक्वेशंस सो व्हेन यू आर सबमिटिंग टू मी अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट गेट मार्क्स ओके अप टू यू इफ यू डोंट सबमिट एनीथिंग यू विल गेट जीरो सो दिस इज नॉट कॉलेज ऑनलाइन है तब तक तो पीडीएफ कंसीडर होगी ना मतलब अभी के लिए पीडीएफ सबमिट हो रही है सो आई विल सो हाफ यू विल गिव मी सॉफ्ट कॉपी एंड हाफ आई विल टेक हार्ड कॉपी तो हाफ ऑनलाइन है हाफ ऑफलाइन है तो फिर वैसे ही होगा यू हैव टू गिव अ सिंगल बुक ओके इफ यू वांट टू डू डू दोस हु वांट टू डू कैन डू दोस हु डोंट वांट टू डू यू विल ओनली गेट फुल मार्क्स इफ यू ड्रॉ ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग एंड इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ फ्रॉम एल्टी स्पाइस आई विल टीच यू टुमारो इन माय लेक्चर एंड यू शुड नॉट टेक मोर देन 3 टू 4 मिनट्स मैक्सिमम ग्राफ्स दैट आई विल टीच यू टुमारो इफ यू वांट टू डू डू इफ यू डोंट वांट टू डू नॉन डू uh it is up to you but you will only get full marks if you do the way we have asked you okay rest is up to you if you are finding challenging to draw a simple graph nobody can help you okay so uh, we cannot do anything else we have to look to the whole class and make sure that a good student gets rewarded who is working hard who is doing things properly and i have we have to filter that we cannot motivate copying or any other ways of uh, you know messed way it cannot be a messy thing it has to be in a neat clean straight forward way if you want to do good otherwise up to you thank you